Ahoy, fellow Vita comrades and welcome. Today we are finding out how quick and easy it is to exploit the PS Vita and enjoy Grand Theft Auto San Andreas in its full old school glory in 2022. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. First and foremost, quick disclaimer, this is not a tutorial, there are already many quality ones out there, it's just me trying to find out how quick and easy to process this. With that said, let's begin. As many of you may know, recently I've purchased the Aqua Blue PS Vita 2000, and that's the one I'm using. All I did as a preparation was that I've connected the Vita to the Wi-Fi, plus I've created new PSN account for this purpose, as well as I've downloaded all the necessary files, VPKs, and the complete San Andreas package is also ready at hand. So how do we begin? I've already modded like 5 PS Vitas and 3 PS TVs with all the different methods out there from Henkaku to H and Core, Square, Trinity. And today I've decided we are gonna follow this amazing, insanely fast video from Blaine Locklair, where he claims we can do it in just 9 minutes. Is he right? Let's find out. So download the package, put the zip file inside, connect the Vita to the PC, run the EXE and copy the H and Core and Vita deploy over. That's where I've encountered first issues cause uh, there were no apps to copy over. It took me roughly 15 minutes to figure out why, because I left the PS Vita to disconnect from the PC in the meantime of the process getting completed. So 20 minutes later, I finally copied it over and started the journey to freedom. Then few more clicks, enabling unsafe homebrew, installing Vita Shell, then finally quick 3.65 installation. The process is fully automatic, so we just wait for it to do its thing. Once it is finished, we are more or less done with the custom firmware installation. Permanent exploit is happily residing at our PS Vita 2000. Now to the GTA San Andreas part. First, install the PlayStation Mobile Runtime Package 2.0 with the help of Crystal PSM tool, which will do everything for us, we just gotta launch the app. Then another automated process, dumping Lipshack plugin in one step with the help of Sharkfoot tool. Then manually installing the FD Fix and Kubridge plugins. And voila, job done, San Andreas is running smooth as a butter, well, not exactly, but it runs, and that was the point of this video, alongside getting the Vita modded, so I believe the mission is accomplished. And what's the conclusion of the whole experience, you may ask? Well, to jailbreak the PS Vita has never been easier and quicker than in 2022, thanks to all of the brilliant apps that can do everything for you. This way I want to also send big up to every single developer who hasn't abandoned our favorite discontinued handheld platform the PS Vita yet and is still keeping it alive. It is greatly appreciated. And how quick did it take me to mod and get the San Andreas running? Uh, roughly like an hour, but with all the bumps that I've encountered, uh, plus I was doing a few more things at the same time. So if one would be really focused just on that single objective to get it modded, I believe it could be easily done in less than 20 minutes. So is the Blaine's claim of 9 minutes reasonable? Absolutely. Go and give your Vita what it deserves. The freedom. It is a must for every Vita owner out there in 2022. And that would be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. All the links are down below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste.